Hey everyone, I'm really excited to show you a quick overview of Digio. These are all of our themes. When you click a uh, new light box, you actually can get access to all of our themes. And every single theme is drag and drop. You can change the colors, the logos, really anything, any images, uh, any font. You can upload your own fonts as well. So anything is possible. It's all drag and drop. We actually use our own theme builder, our own editor, to actually build all of our themes. So anything you're seeing here is totally possible. You can upload images. Uh, it's really easy to use as well. So here's like a quick theme. It's just signing up for our newsletter. This is one where you can do multi-step. For example, they click get 25% off, and then right away they see another form to enter their email address. Here's a cool one where you have kind of a cool exotic image in the background and collecting email on the left. This is a cool theme to like showcase exit intent uh, type stuff. So for example, we can trigger a light box on exit. Now there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys can do with exit or really any of our light boxes where we can actually read any any HTML content on your site and kind of change the messaging based on the URL or an HTML tag on the site or really anything. This is a, a theme, a pretty cool theme where you can enter your email and, and really any other relevant information. And as soon as you enter it in, you know, it goes into your backend integration. And then on the thank you page, you can actually have a download button. You can upload a PDF to our file section we hosted for you. And you click on that button and you see it right away. We can target based on location. So if you're doing like a conference or maybe you're offering free shipping in the US only, we could show a specific light box to specific GOIP traffic. So in this case, maybe the United States, we show this offer. You can even go down to a state or region level. So if you want to do like San Francisco or just California, you can do that as well. Um, these are yes, no boxes. Now you can have up to a chain of four different events. So for example, you know, are you interested in X, yes or no? If they click yes, then they go on to the next page. Um, and that's an instant load. And they can enter more information, maybe like a job title, email address. And they enter that in. They go to another page where they can enter in more information, like income potentially or even more personally sensitive information. We can all be, uh, we can keep updating your back integration for, for the more information we get. That way if they leave off, they won't, they won't uh, you'll still collect the, the beginning two steps. Um, now it's not just light boxes that kind of show up in the middle. We have things that kind of slide in from the left or the right. We can also do redirects. It's not just collecting emails. We can also do redirects when they click on it. It goes to a different part of your site or maybe an external link, uh, you know, like a survey link potentially. Um, we can do like sweepstakes. You can have a limited amount of fields, uh, 10 custom fields, phone numbers. Uh, so you can do a lot of different custom fields. You can also do hidden fields. So if you want to pass in like a specific source or trigger something specifically within a hidden field, that is possible as well too. Um, a lot of, you know, we do a lot of e-commerce sites, a lot of discounts. We have a lot of publishers that are just asking for specific niche newsletters. We can do like welcome walls where it takes over the full screen of your site. Um, and that could be based on like a referral URL, for example. So for example, um, we have like a, we have these Facebook and, and Twitter ones. For example, if we detect, hey, they're coming in from a Facebook source, um, show a specific light box. It could, this could be something as an external site, like maybe one of your internal blog posts, or uh, maybe you've had a press release. Any traffic coming from there, you can target them very specifically. Um, now, this is a really cool one that's showcasing kind of a cool use of background images, as well as a kind of a drop down, where you can ask for like a specific thing that they're looking for and hit sign up. So those are our kind of, we have tons of themes, you know, I only went halfway down. I kind of want to jump into things and show you our editor here. So I'm going to create a quick life box here. Now this is the Digio life box editor. Now again, everything is drag and drop. That's what I love about this editor. So it's really easy to make changes. I can turn this off, for example, I can upload images like our logo, for example, or, or just like a static image. You can move things up or down. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to say, get on our newsletter now. I'm going to turn this off, for example. Let's turn this off. I'm just going to move things around, change things around. Now I can, this is just, this theme just has an email address, but I could add other fields into here. For example, maybe a phone number field or a name field or a custom field, maybe a drop down or a checkbox. Then we can add like multiple buttons. And then we can make things bigger or smaller really easily, just like that. So it's super easy. Now you can change anything. You can change the background color right here. So for example, if I wanted to be a lighter yellow, that's possible. Um, then we have a thank you page that you could totally design as well. Um, so this could be like a download link potentially or a redirect or just a simple close button. Now we have four types of widgets that are available. We have the light box. So this is when people think of, of light box mold technology, this is what they're thinking of as a straight up light box on your site. 
Now this is the most effective widget. Now this is great for like things like exit intent. So when the mouse leaves the page or maybe when they're right when they come to the site, you show them this. Now this is the most, in terms of conversions, this is probably the highest converting widget. Um, however, our most popular widget is actually the sidebar. And that's just extremely flexible. So I'm gonna position this bottom left. You can change how it looks, how it works. It's also less aggressive than the light box. So I'm gonna show you how that works. Um, and so we're gonna, and we're also gonna turn this close button off here. As you can see, there's lots of cool design settings and, and options there. So this is gonna swing in from the side. You're gonna see it right there. And 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 this is something that, you know, you still see the website in the back and it's just a, a quick, a quick uh, cider. Now you can change it to like, be at the top, in the middle, the bottom right. We're seeing really good results on the bottom left because a lot of people are, are positioning ad blinders, having, you know, having ad blinders on the, on the bottom, on the right side. So we're seeing a lot of good results on the left. Now remember, any of this text can be also de dynamically done. And whenever you add a little bit of personaliz personalization or like you base it off of a specific event, like if they're coming in from Facebook or if they're on a specific page based on the URL, and if you target a little differently, you can increase your conversions quite a bit, almost to match the aggressiveness of the light box. So we call this a sidebar widget. Now we also have the inline. Now the inline is a static form. So typically you see this on the bottom right of a footer doesn't open at you. It's not the light box or the sidebar that opens up on top of your page. It's embedded on, on your website. So it doesn't open up at you. It's just right on your site. So you can embed this maybe like an article link, like the third paragraph or on the sidebar or in the footer, typically we see this. Now what makes our inline really powerful is you can use a smart tag and that's a really easy way of doing it where you just embed this smart tag on your site and it's done. You just put it in and it shows up immediately. Now, the other option is a jQuery selector. And that's where we can look, we call this like a virtual embed internally. And what that does, it allows you to really easily uh, look at the CSS events and then either put, put it above or below. So append, you know, before or after that CSS event. Now, what's really, what makes this really powerful is you don't have to bug your IT team about making any updates, you know, HTML updates to your site. So it's, a, you know, most of our customers use a jQuery selector so they can just bypass IT. Then we also have the banner. And that kind of takes over the top or the bottom of the screen. So I'm, I want to make this a lot smaller using our, our kind of our, our dimensions right here. And that's how you do the banner. And now banners are really good for like, maybe like, hey, 10% off site wide with like a redirect link. Or, or they're really good for like maybe a, a CEO press announcement. Uh, so they're really powerful that they can just hang out at the top. And what's cool about the banner is it can easily, you can place it to the top or the bottom of the page. And you can even move the content down. So if you have like a top nav bar, and everything, the whole website gets pushed down. You can do that as well, or you can just overlap the existing content, um, which is which is two cool features there. We, uh, we believe that we have pretty much every form need uh, that you'll need in these four types of widget style. They're extremely flexible and things that you can do. So just let us know um, if there's something specific that you want in specific functionality. Let us know. All right, so now we have our conditions, and this is our kind of our flagship feature. And our conditions are, are super powerful. Um, in the way that you can really be effective without being annoying. You know, you don't want to be aggressive. You want to be extremely effective. So I can say, look, I'm going to keep showing this light box until the form is submitted. And then I'm going to say, I only want to show up one time per session. And the session is usually about, uh, about one hour on, for most browsers. And so that means if they come to the site, they close it, they're not going to see it in that one hour window. They will see it again uh, in this case if they haven't submitted the form in, let's say, you know, the next day, you know, tomorrow. Then we could say, we can go a little further and say, look, I only want to target this to people in the United States. So maybe we're doing like a free shipping deal. So we're only going to show this to people in the United States. Then I go a little bit further and I could say, look, I only want to target first time visitors. So I can do past visits is less than one. So now it's only going to be the first time they ever come to your site. And so that kind of makes this max displace per session rule kind of uh, useless in this case. So now we're only targeting first time visitors um, and we're only going to show this once. Now that's a cookie based rule. So that means if they've ever seen the light box and they, they've been to the site before, they're never going to see this, this one because of this past visits rule. So I'm going to remove that. just want to showcase that. So then we're going to say, look, I want to add back in that max displays per session rule. And then I'm going to add an exit intent. Let's say we want to trigger it on exit. So when the mouse leaves the top of the window. So that means we're constantly detecting the mouse movements. And when they leave the page, we're going to trigger an exit intent light box. Now, if they submitted the form, that means they won't see it. Or if they're during a session, we won't submit it again. You know, they won't see it again. So then the next thing we have that's that's pretty cool is we could target based on URL. So maybe you're an e-commerce shop 
and you want to target specifically the cart pages, you know, only when they're in the, the checkout flow, or maybe it's like slash checkout. So this is matching the actual URL. So now this is this this is only going to fire within the United States. They haven't seen it before. They submitted already, and they exit the page, and then on slash checkout, this would show up. But we want to make sure that we're not going to show it to people that have already checked out. So on a lot of you know e-commerce sites, you could do a does not contain rule using our pages navigated URL rule, and we could do something like this, you know, slash thank you. So let's let's just assume, for example, that they went to your site, um, and they actually completed a whole checkout funnel. And the last URL is slash thank you. Um, that means if they've ever navigated the slash thank you page or, or any text, any URL that has, you know, thank dash you, we will not show this light box as well. And that's a really cool, powerful exit intent rule. So I'm going to delete these exit intent rules. And I'm going to do something different. Let's say we're a publisher, we're a blog, and we just want to show it up to people that are maybe on, uh, on specific sections. So we'll do maybe they're on the lifestyle section. So only when this specific characters are in the, the URL will show this light box. And this is a really good, powerful segmentation. So if we, you know, everything we talk about, and maybe even the backend integration is all associated to the lifestyle section of your site. We're gonna take it a little bit further and we can even do things like, you know, based on total past visits or number of page views. So maybe they, after they've browsed at least three or more page views, do we trigger this light box? Uh, we could also do it based on referring website URL. So let's say, hey, they're coming from Facebook. That's the referring site. And they land on the lifestyle section. We're going to trigger this. And we're only going to show this up on a three-second timer. So total seconds on page is greater than three. So that means, you know, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Boom, it shows right there, as long as these other conditions apply. Some other rules that I just want to quickly point out that are, that are pretty pretty awesome is this HTML XSJ query. Now this rule is, is very savvy. You can do a lot of things with it. So we can read any HTML on your site. So, you know, WordPress tags or specific, you know, cookie values. We can write custom rules for you guys and you can actually target it based on specific events, specific things on your site. We can target based on our mobile or desktop. We always like to build two light boxes out when, whenever we design for our clients. We like to do one specifically for mobile that's optimized and one specifically for desktop. So you can you can have spe specifically, hey, what do you want to show for desktop devices and what do you want to show for mobile devices? So a lot of functionality here as well. Uh, so this is this is one of our coolest features, in my opinion. I'm going to show you one more thing. So we also have a full analytics uh, platform. So you can see a summary of all your analytics. When someone submits your, your their email address, it all gets stored in the submissions. Um, we also have a conversion, so you can see how you're doing. So we calculate, hey, this is the number of times our JavaScript fired, so that's impressions. And then we have number of times that uh, someone actually submitted their email, you know, number of times that the Lightbox was displayed, um, you know, opportunities people had to enter their email, and the number of times that people actually enter their email, and then we calculate our conversion rate. So you can see how you're typically doing. Now. We, we, we calculate about 10 different data points on every email address. So someone submits their email address, we give you their, you know, where they're located, their, their country, their region, their state. We tell you, you know, when we can, when we can grab it from our GLIP database. Then we tell you where they converted on and the referring URL. So, hey, if they came from Facebook, we'll show you Facebook. Um, hey, they came from Facebook and they converted on this specific URL. And that, that allows you for future events to do maybe more custom uh, segmentation for future light boxes. We have A-B testing and, and multivariate testing. A-B testing is really cool because you can do things like test copy and color. So maybe I want to change this to a red color. Maybe I want to change this instead of get our, on our newsletter now. Maybe I, I'll say sign up for our lifestyle newsletter. So you can really easily do, it's all wizardized. You can really easily do um, you know, quick copy and color changes or maybe add imagery. Multivariate testing takes it to a whole nother level. So you can do things like, you know, you know, exit intent timer versus three second slider. Uh, that's a very powerful thing that you can do. So you can test like how conditions interact and you can run multiple uh, uh, light boxes against each other. So it's not just two, A-B testing is just two, multi-vesting is like two or more. So you can have running five different tests at the same times. Um, integrations is great. We, we, we integrate with over 400 different types of email marketing systems as well as custom backend systems. Uh, we've never had a client where we haven't been able to integrate with them. We can push uh, custom code as well, or custom fields, hidden fields. Uh, very powerful. We set that all up for you as well. The last thing I want to show you is the is our custom JavaScript session. So we can write custom code inside your account. 
uh, for example. So this allows us to really do anything, create a lot of flexibility on how you want uh, you know, Digio to function on your site. So we can read custom cookie events and create custom rules. Um, we can do validation, really anything, sky's the limit. Uh, we can do multiple form fields um, that validate against each other. Uh, we can we can do write a lot of custom code to make it fit exactly how you guys want uh, these light boxes to function. That's the end of my quick overview. I, I hope that was great. Feel free to ask any questions. We're very customer centric and hands on with our customers. We love working with you guys. So please ask us any questions or we can jump on another call similar to this. Thank you.